women's pro Portugal stays in Europe after Joan DeFay's victory in the final against the Australian Tyler Wright. Waves were scarce in the women's final and tested the nerves of the two of the most experienced surfers in the CT. Joan DeFay was the first to put a couple of decent scores on the board. Applying pressure on her opponent, Tyler Wright, as time slowly ticked away. Both surfers focused on lefts where the Frenchwoman took the lead. Applying her polished backhand turns on the forehand side as she has done countless times to win big events. As time continued to pass, the Australian could not find her wave. To work her magic and Defe claimed victory. Special to win in Europe. Um, I always dream of winning the Pro France, obviously, because I'm from France. But uh, I guess Portugal, and it, it's just as good, you know. Um, there's a lot of people on the beach. I I can see it's a it's a country where people love surfing, you know, and it's so special. And um, I wish in France we can have the same the same passion and. Um, and also coming back from the injury, obviously, it's really special. I've worked a lot. Um, I had some up and downs and, you know, in my confidence and stuff. So um, it's just felt, it just feels good. After his worst start to a season since qualifying full time in the year of the two time world champion, Tyler Wright two third round eliminations and has found her rhythm in Portugal to reach the final. Wright has definitely found her form again and will be a threat as she heads to Bell Pitch where she is the back-to-back -back winner of the event. Despite this, she looks forward to the threat of the new generation of surfers. All the young ones coming through, I think they're developing the sport so well. Um, and I think for me, it's, it's an absolute um, honor and a privilege to be in the position that I am in and to, to be able to work as hard as we do. And, to kind of build the careers that we have and then as well to share that with a younger generation coming through and always kind of trying to uplift them and go, hey, like, we've gone down these rabbit holes. Like, you don't need to, like, kind of... And try and be the... Be our best version of ourselves in this sport and hopefully um, the next generation can be better than us. Another veteran, the current world champion Caroline Mars, who despite losing in the quarterfinals to Lake Peterson, makes a positive balance of her participation in Portugal and tells us why Super Tubos is a very special wave in the CT. Um, yeah, Super Tubos is super fun. I love, I grew up surfing beach breaks, so I just really enjoy the beach breaks and lefts and rights and kind of slamming sections and all that. And um, Yeah, Super Tubos has a lot of power and um, I know this time of year there's like tons of swell and stuff and um, it's kind of different every day, you know, there's like airs, there's barrels, there's good turns, it's like, gets big, gets small, it kind of has a bit of everything to be honest, so you just have to be prepared for anything. Next stop, Bells in Australia, where Molly Picklum will continue to lead overall, and French Joan de Fay, after her victory in Portugal, will arrive as second. From Penich in the Women's World Surf League, for HA10, Hector Alonso.